But to wrap it up today, guys, we've got some really good news. I love this one. There is, you guys have all heard of the Free State Project. The Free State Project in New Hampshire is basically the idea that they are trying to get a high concentration of libertarians to move to the state of New Hampshire so that libertarians can actually have political power, doing a pretty good job. But in addition to trying to help libertarians move to New Hampshire, they've launched a new initiative. And this is something that you might want to like, you know, just keep in mind if you're looking to move to New Hampshire or maybe you're in New Hampshire and you have some progressive friends and family members, this is like the perfect time because the Progressive State Project, which is the counterbalance to the Free State Project, is literally going to pay for progressives to leave the state of New Hampshire and possibly do a move swap with a libertarian who would like to move to New Hampshire. Because I don't know if you guys know this, the housing market in New Hampshire right now is crazy. It is extremely, extremely hot. So if people are trying to move to New Hampshire, they're having trouble finding a place to live. They're having trouble getting a house, all this stuff. This is going to help with that. Because if we can move progressives out of the state and libertarians into the state, this is a win-win for everyone. This is on libertyblock.com. The progressive state swap. Living in a state where every legislative action goes against one core's ethical foundations is quite hard. Few people are more aware of this than free staters. Moving to be free. I, for example, lived in New York City, New Jersey, Chicago, Boulder, and Boston. Every day I would awaken to headlines championing some oppressive legislation, which directly conflicted with my fundamental ethical beliefs in each person's self-ownership. No longer able to ignore this facile inhumanity, I left my friends and family to migrate to the live free or die state, the number one most free state. In North America, the state which, in which tens of thousands of other liberty lovers were flocking. As soon as I arrived, I no longer was ineffectively inveighing against human oppression, but instead nurturing the growth of human freedom. I had seen chains lifted, jails open, businesses flourished, threats removed, extortion decreased, licenses lessened, opportunities formed, and alternatives multiply. People who are in other states risk their liberty simply because they prefer to live their lives differently than their rulers command breathe safely here in New Hampshire. Some unhappy New Hampshire progressives, but even as I have delighted in the hotbed of liberty, a legacy segment has become more miserable. A more free New Hampshire is the opposite of what they want to them. Their neighbor living their life as she chooses is just too much to bear. Perversely, they consider not being allowed to threaten violent police action under color of law to force their neighbor to conform her life to their preferences is a type of oppression of themselves. And so this segment has formed committees and organizations. They've held meetings and rallies to rant and to rail, warning all those to, who sit to listen to the awful danger posed by free staters setting their neighbors free. And although these people want a coercive, oppressive society, the opposite of what I want for my family, I understand their frustration. Like I said, they are living in a state that is continuously moving away from the type of society they want. So if you guys haven't noticed this on my channel, every once in a while, I will stream a webinar that is directly attacking the Free State Project. Like, you know libertarians in New Hampshire are being effective because the Democrats in New Hampshire are more pissed off at the Libertarians than they are at the Republicans. The Democrats in New Hampshire are more afraid of the Libertarians than they are of the Republicans. In fact, they spend a lot of energy trying to convince people that the Republican Party is being taken over by Libertarians. Can any other state say that except New Hampshire? I don't think they can. So what's going on is we got a whole bunch of progressives in New Hampshire who are like, no, 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 Free State Project bad. They're freaking out. And now the Free State Project's basically like, well, if you don't like it, leave. And not only are they saying if you don't like it, leave, they're now offering to pay to help them to leave. Like, how great is this? Luckily for them, progressive states are everywhere to be found. Those progressives even point to the authoritarian states immediately surrounding New Hampshire to argue New Hampshire is out of step. 
Why can't New Hampshire just be like those states? They do not understand that those most driven towards expanding human freedom need one place where they can escape the progressives' cruel subjugation. And that without the safety they, the, without the safety valve, the entire country could well explode. The obvious escape, alternative escapes them. Don't reoppress a segment that at great cost escaped the oppression of those states, but don't end the only hope for freedom in an increasingly totalitarian world, the one state that is actually embracing human freedom. Move. Move to whichever of the dozen progressive authoritarian states attracts you. Don't like guns? Scores of states profoundly infringe on the Second Amendment. Don't want parents to be able to choose alternative schools for their children? Government unions fully monopolize most states, ensuring parents will have little say in their child's education. Want to forcibly inject experimental, questionably effective, big pharma chemicals into the bodies of non-consenting adults and their children? There are progressive states that are even considering concentration camps for those who refuse. Why? There are dozens of progressive states for progressive authoritarians to escape burgeoning freedom in New Hampshire. Sadly, New Hampshire is unique in the world. There is no alternative state to send liberty lovers. So they launched the Progressive State Swap Contest. And so we're holding a contest to illustrate how this simple solution immediately decreases acrimony and increases peace. From applicants, a coalition of libertarians and progressives will select one progressive who is miserable living in the increasingly free New Hampshire and a libertarian who is miserable living in some progressive state. And we'll swap them. We will pay their expenses to move, demonstrating how such a low-cost investment instantly allows both the progressive and the libertarian to live much happier lives in states much more consistent with their values. Misery and acrimony are instantly decreased. So if you know of a progressive or a socialist who is constantly complaining about living in an increasingly free state, recommend that they apply. If they're chosen, a moving company will pack them up, transport them to whichever progressive state they prefer. We'll move them into their new digs. We'll even pay the down payment on their rental apartment. And we'll bring a liberty lover uh, currently living in misery in that same state back here to bask in the freedom that only New Hampshire offers. And you guys can contribute if you want to support this. You can uh, contribute funds to it. By moving to any of the progressive states, intolerant progressive authoritarians will immediately find a lifestyle much more to their liking than they will ever enjoy by remaining here, and New Hampshire will be free to continue shining its beacon of hope to the tyrannies people everywhere, with far less hostility in the midst for daring to be the one free state in an otherwise unfree world. I love this. I think the Progressive State Project is a great idea. I know they're putting a whole website together to help progressives in New Hampshire try to figure out what is the best progressive state for them. Is it Massachusetts? I literally live like 20 minutes away from the Massachusetts border. It's not even like a far move. They can move to New York. They can move to Vermont. They can move to California if they want. The Progressive State Project, man. Great idea. Great idea. Let's pay people to move to a place that they'll be more happy. And listen, man, if you want to talk about a national divorce, and I know a lot of people are talking about a national divorce and making it peaceful, this is how you make it peaceful, man. This is how you make it peaceful. Go move somewhere else. Go live somewhere else. I think it's a great idea. Great way to round out the year. All right, guys, that is all I have. Like I said, I will be moving over into my locals. And actually, let me share this one more time. If you want to join my locals, you can uh, come on kb.locals.com. Locals is free to join. But if you did enjoy the show today, I do this every Sunday at 5 p.m. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit that thumbs up, mount that like button if you want. And if you really want to support the work I'm doing, I hope you'll consider becoming a supporter in Locals. And I just realized I have a typo in my ticker, but that's okay. We'll fix that for next time. Becoming a supporter of my locals comes in at five bucks a month, which is apparently now the cost of like a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Like forget about Starbucks. Now like Dunkin' Donuts level rates. You can do it also for 50 bucks a year if you want to get two months for free. You can also make a one-time gift. And I will be doing a live stream shortly in my locals community just for my members. And you can get access to the chat to chat in and ask any question you want if you are a supporter. All right, guys. I will be back tomorrow with some more stuff. 
But take care again. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see some of you in locals very, very soon.